just realized that you're, you're uh, are those feathers that say Gaga on them. Yes. Or just in case you forget my name, you know. Yeah, or from the back, <laughs> from the back they say Ag Ag. Yeah. But, um... and, uh, I, if I get drunk and step on it, it'll say Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> Those are great. Who, like, who comes up with this? Do you think of these things? And use it uh, this is a Philip Tracy hat. He made one for Isabella Blow uh, many years ago. So, you know, wow. I just stole the idea. I like that. I mean, that is something. So, but you really have to. Th I mean, you have to put a lot of thought into what you wear because you can't just wear anything. You sometimes. And sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I don't. You know, when you're in bed, you just, you know, it's pretty simple what guys want, want right? Don't they? Yeah. yeah nothing. Yeah. Nothing is. Sometimes probably... you put some thought, and sometimes you. Put no thought. <laughs> and what becomes of, of the costumes? Do you take care of them afterwards? or do you, Are they sent to Africa to be worn by villagers there? <laughs> no, not that I'm aware of. Hi to the band. There you go. Sorry, I just always want to say hello because I was always in the band. It's know? a mutual respect type of thing, and, I'm, and they appreciate it, too. It also wakes them up out of their half-stoned haze. <laughs> Are you stoned? <laughs> That's very nice of you. Good boy. Well, you have to go around and ask them individually. <laughs> so you got, so these things, do they go in a museum? Is there a big storage unit you have? With... I have an archive. An archive? Yeah. And do you have a curator for the archive? Um, well, we had, to, we had to cure the meat dress. Uh-huh. Okay. It got a disease of some kind? No, it just, had, no, you don't know how to cure, you're, I, aren't you Italian? I am Italian. I know about curing meat. I, for Obviously God's sake, not. I'm, I'm half salami. What do you think happens to prosciutto? <laughs> I fried some prosciutto just last night. Italians you, don't fry prosciutto. Well, yes, this one did fry some prosciutto and put it on a little nudie, uh, which he made himself. Oh, oh, do you cook? Yeah. Do you cook I do, I do cook a lot, You yeah. do? What do you, what's your specialty? Um, I'm really great at making a, uh, like, traditional uh, fennel red gravy. It's like fresh pomodoro. So. Nice. Yeah, in New York and Brooklyn, uh, yeah. we call it gravy. Yeah, yeah, a lot gravy. of people get confused by that, yeah. but I like that. Yeah. And you make it for the whole family? Uh, yeah, well, I make it for the producers a lot on the road because they um, actually followed me uh, on the tour bus. We built a studio bus with all of our equipment so that I could uh, record. You record on the bus? <laughs> You, do you record while while the bus is moving, or does it have to come to a stop? Yeah, well, you... sometimes they don't want to, and they're, they're you know, Gaga, we can't get, you know, the, the frequency's weird, and, you know, it's sounding a little bit strange, and I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm gonna, you know, I get a little bit mad. Do you have a kitchen on the bus you cook? Um, uh, there's no kitchen on the bus, but, you know, we'll stop in certain places, and by then we've probably had at least a couple of bottles of Jameson to drink, and then I just sort of start chain smoking and making pasta nice. for everyone. <laughs> You're smoking. Good, good Brooklyn Italian girl. Yeah, that's right. You get a little extra spice there when the cigarette butt falls into yeah. the sauce, right? Yeah, yeah it was pepper. Yeah, it's very nice. You, um... <laughs> Do you ever drive the bus? I know you're on tour all the time. Um, I don't have a license because mm -hmm. I'm from New York. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> obviously. Um, but I, um, I had a learner's permit for a while, and I went driving when I was in Los Angeles and Bel Air because I thought nobody would notice. And it was the day after my first Grammy performance with Elton. Um, so my hair was kind of Which gray. Which Elton John? Yeah, Elton John. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have worn the Elton hat. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I just remember I was uh, driving and I was so excited because I, you know, ran away from my security guards and oh. I went to this uh, strip mall in, in Bel Air and I thought no one saw me. And then my manager called me the next day and he's like, "You had a fabulous performance at the Grammys and then you're driving a plateless car with no license, looking like a grandma." <laughs> I was so, and I'm like, it's amazing, it's so fabulous, and he was not happy. He was not amused no. by that? No, he yeah. was very angry about that. I would think so. It's got to be a little weird, because, you know, you're this big star, and you, you, all these people work for you, but still you've got people that say, you can't do this, you can't do that, and you kind of have to listen to them, right? Well, I think perhaps the reason we're all here is because I'm not very good at listening, am I? Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> I know that, um... You're nominated for uh, your HBO special, which yeah. is terrific, by the way, is nominated for five Emmy Awards. Five Emmys. Will you go to the Emmys? Yes. Oh, great. Oh, is that the music that comes with the award? That is the award music, yes. Emmys. <laughs> VMA. <laughs> Grammy. 
<laughs> and get ready, Jeff, because also you're nominated for the Bowling Hall of Fame, I, I've heard. <laughs> Which, that's got to be even more exciting. Well, are you a bowler? Um, I am a, a good bowler uh, pre-Budweiser. I see. Yeah. And then once the beers start loading up, it's kind of like I become worse and worse and worse, which is really great for whoever's taking me out on the date, you know, because I'm a good cheap date and a terrible bowler. When you go to the bowling alley, do you, do you rent the shoes? Absolutely not. You do not? <laughs> no. For hygiene or but style it's not, reasons? It's not. Well, what if one of my fans walked into the bowling alley and saw me in flats? I think they'd have a heart attack. <laughs> Hey, you, do, you really do have to be careful. Do you want to get? Do you want to have kids one day? Do I want to have kids? Yeah. Um, someday, long, long day from now. What if one of your children grew up to be not gay? Would you still love that child? No. You would not. <laughs> I have to say, I, I uh, heard your. I actually don't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're not alone. Um, <laughs> we've got the, uh, we got the album right here, and just about everybody in America has it, but just on the off chance that you don't, it's called Born This Way. It's available now. Are you gonna do, what song are you going to do for us tonight? I'm going uh, to sing um, my brand new single, You and I. Yeah. And I'm also going to sing uh, my, uh, my single that's been out now for a bit, uh, which is called The Edge of Glory, which... Uh, yeah. The amazing Clarence Clemens played saxophone on the Edge of Glory, and God bless him, he's not here, but I'm going to dance, dance to the moon for him tonight. That's great. Lady Gaga is here. We'll be right back.